Ryan, after 14 days in quarantine, just uh, who was more happy to see you go to the rink, yourself or your wife? Uh, definitely my wife. I think uh, I think I was driving her a little bit crazy. So I'm not a guy that likes to be alone or like, uh, you know, I got to have stuff to do and people to talk to and people to annoy. So I think uh, she was definitely annoyed and glad that I went to the rent to the rink today. <laughs> was was there any weight gained over the 14 days? And uh, if so, how did you feel for, at your first practice today? Uh, definitely no weight gain. I think it was I was just eating Uber Eats and it was hard. It was it was hard to to uh, you know eat so much when you weren't active and not doing much. So uh, felt pretty good. I think to be honest, it was 16 days off, so you're not going to feel great in the first one. I was finally uh, nervous and excited to be around new guys. So uh, it's been a long time since I uh, was excited and nervous to practice. So uh, it was an awesome day, and um, can't wait to uh, get in the ice and get things going for a real game. Because like you said, it's been 16 days, and I'm itching to get out there. Am I safe to assume it was a comfortable walk into the locker room though? Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, whether you're 30 years old or, you know, you know, 15 going into a new high school, it's always, uh, it's always nervous to meet new people and, and you walk on glass a little bit, walk on eggshells and you get to a new place and to uh, come to a, a team that I'm so familiar with the, with the, uh, you know, people and the trainers and all the people that make this uh, organization such a great organization. It was, it was easy, you know, walking in talking to Pierre and, and Peter and then, uh, seeing all the other guys and you know I'm still friends with five or six guys from the team in the past so it was definitely a lot easier than getting traded in the past and uh, felt like I you know I haven't left so uh, it was very easy to come back. Final hand in the queue right now is Ken Warren at Post Media. Yeah hi Ryan uh, like in all I've got a couple here first one like in all seriousness what do you do with 14 days like you go to the gym in the hotel do you what, what, how do you kill time? Do you watch movies? What do you do? Uh, to be honest, it was, it wasn't easy. I know all joking aside, it was, it was pretty boring. And, um, I called a lot of friends, called my family, talked to my dad and my mom and, and other things like that. And to be honest, I just was on the computer, uh, you know, reading, learning things, and then watching a lot of hockey, to be honest. I watched every one of the sent games, uh, a couple Carolina games, a couple Tampa, just, just any, any team that I had friends on, I, I got to watch. So I think that was my daily routine was kind of try to sleep in, uh, recover and um, have a nice lunch and then get ready to watch a hockey game at night, to be completely honest. It, there wasn't much to do. So uh, it, it wasn't the best, to be honest. And, and in coming back to this room, you say familiar with the surroundings, not a lot of players still around, right? From, from your previous stint here, Who, who's still here from uh, when you were traded the first time? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Chabby and Tierney were, I was pretty close with back in the day and, and Whitey and Chucky and, and then even like guys like Willannon and, and Pauly, I uh, got to know a little bit, uh, you know, Wally was a good kid and he was younger and kind of coming to the league when I was here. So I, I kind of tried to help him out and talk to him a lot and make him feel comfortable. So uh, guys like that and, you know, Tierney and Shabbat, I still, uh, they're already, already annoying me after day one. So it's nice to hear their chirps and, and be back goofing around with those two guys. We'll go to batsidchrome at senators.com. Hey, Ryan, as uh, Ken just mentioned, there are a lot of uh, new faces for you uh, and a lot of young guys too. Just first day on, on the ice with those guys, kind of how impressed were you uh, with what they bring to the table? Uh, I, I was just trying to focus on skating around and not falling over today. So I didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to really look at them, but watching them in the games, obviously they're uh, high in skill and, and, and quick and um, just, you know, I heard just great guys too off the ice, which is always nice to hear. That's what you, that's what you want. You want humble, uh, good kids. And, and I've heard nothing but good things about them. So that's always nice to hear. And, and just walk in the locker room and, and talking to them a little bit this morning. You know, I, I didn't have a big taste of, of anyone, to be honest. Like I said, I, I was kind of in a, in a flurry here getting ready and, and uh, trying to not screw up the drills too much. So I'm sure in the next week or so, I'll have a better uh, something to give you on that. But not heard nothing but great things about them. Ian Mendez at the Athletic. Uh, just, just one question for you, Ryan, and that would be: um, Have have they given you an indication of like who your line mates might be? And I know because obviously today you were kind of skating with that uh, extra line with Logan and uh, and Mike Haley. Um, do you have an idea of who you might play with when you when you do get into game action? Uh, no, I really haven't talked to DJ much about that yet. I think uh, a lot of things I need to, like I said again, a lot of things I need to focus on before you know, 16 days. They the trainers here, um, you know, I've been in the league a long time. They're just trying to keep me safe and 
and uh, get me back when I'm ready. So I think it's going to be two, three, four days of um, getting on the ice, getting workouts in and, and feeling comfortable again. So um, just looking at the lineup, I think four really solid skilled centers, which you don't have that a lot on a lot of teams. So wherever you get put with any of those um, centers, one through four, um, it's uh, not going to feel like you're on the third or fourth line. So uh, it's nice to see all the skill up the middle, which which helps every uh, every winger. So just excited to play with uh, whoever falls. And, uh, you know, I've played with guys in the past like Tierney and, and other other guys like that. So wherever I fall, it'll it'll be uh, it'll be fun and uh, offensive. Final one today is from Mark Broussard at Ladois. Yeah, Ryan, um, uh, do you have a target date at all for a return? Maybe Thursday in Calgary, maybe? Would that be a, 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 the earliest maybe you can get in? Yeah, I mean, I you know, as, as a competitor and a guy who wants to get out there as soon as I can, I think I always think I can do more than, than I should. So uh, I'm going to listen to the guys here. And uh, like I said, I've known them for a long time and I trust them. So, uh, you know, whatever Jared, Dom, uh, Schwartz and Robbie say, uh, I'm going to listen to them and um, felt a little weird today, a little funny with the puck and 16 days off the legs and the groins and the hips, but uh, I skated a lot after practice. So hopefully, yeah, I think like you said, Thursday or, you know, whenever they uh, deem that I'm ready to go, I'll be ready. And did you, uh, in, in your room, did you have like a anything to, to work out uh, when you were quarantined? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really do much. I think uh, you try to do the best you can and and uh, work out a little bit. And I'm a guy that, you know, band workouts and, and I do a lot of that stuff before bed anyway uh, on a consistent basis to, um, you know, keep the body right, stretching and, and yoga and this and that. So it wasn't a crazy amount of things I could do, but uh, there's been bye weeks in the past where I, I was off, you know, 10, 10 days. So uh, those extra six were a little much, but uh, should be fine.